Good morning, I'm Sunetra Chaudhary, political editor of the Hindustan Times, bringing you all that you need to know about COVID-19 on Thursday, the 28th of May. First up, a look at the numbers. There have been now 7,492 new cases in the last 24 hours. That's quite a spike. The number of dead now stands at 4,459. Which brings me to our top story, which is an analysis of how the lockdown compares with the rest of the world. It is quite different from any other trend across the country. First up, we had the most stringent lockdown, which was measured by University of Oxford as 100. And yet, unlike other countries which waited for the peak of the cases to come down, we eased it before we reached the peak. So. We are at the phase like other countries like Brazil, Peru, Chile, which are still seeing cases rising. And so those countries haven't eased their lockdown, although to begin with, they didn't have the kind of stringent lockdown that we had. What did other countries like US, Italy, Germany, UK, what did they do? Well, they waited for their peak to come and end before they lived did all these restrictions so perhaps these are some of the factors that we have to keep in mind as we look at May 31st when this phase of the lockdown ends the next story that we have for you is also an analysis of what the GDP contraction as confirmed by the Reserve Bank of India will mean for most of us and will mean for India first up what it means is that we are going to see a contraction in sectors other than agriculture for the first time. There have been GDP contractions before since 1950s. In fact, there have been four such instances, but all of them have been due to agricultural uh, disruptions. So this is the first time that we're going to see other sectors being hit. What it does mean is that there are going to be job losses and so people have to dip into their savings now it seems that it isn't the first time that india and indians are going to dip into their savings they have been doing so because there have been increasing job losses but this will mean that larger number of people will be doing that and finally if you look at the income tax only five percent of indians pay 90 percent of the income tax that is collected by the government which means that if their businesses fall and if their earnings shrink then the government's capacity to help those who are most vulnerable who need government support the most will also be limited so these are some grim numbers and speaking of grim the next story that we have from you is from the capital and how the bodies have started piling up at the Lok Naik Jai Prakash Hospital, which is the main COVID-19 hospital in the capital. There have been bodies that have been waiting for five days in order to be cremated. It's also because the crematorium and the CNG furnaces that are there are not operating to full capacity. In fact, only two out of the six are operating. They say it's because before they were only looking at four to five bodies and that number obviously has gone up in the pandemic. And so they've said that the authorities have now ordered log burning of the bodies to be done with social distancing. So some grim news coming in there from the capital. But we will end on a positive note. Anthony Fauci, who is the top infectious disease expert from America, has said that he is very hopeful that there will be a vaccine by the end of the year. He says that a vaccine may be deployable as early as November or December, which comes as great news for people across the world who are waiting for the vaccine to arrive. But he also said that HCQ, the anti-malaria drug, hydroxychloroquine, there was no evidence that it could be effective in working as a treatment against COVID-19. And we have one other piece of good news to end on, and this may not directly be COVID-19 news, but Indian Air Force has been at the forefront of fighting the pandemic. Well, in an interview to the Hindu Sun Times, Air Chief Padoria has said that the batch of women fighter pilots has been very effective and while they were only taken on for a limited period of five years, their performance has been so good that he feels that their tenure will be extended. So this is great news indeed. And on that note, those are the news updates for now. Keep tracking them on HindustanTimes.com.